have a special review for you. I'm going to review a knit companion. Now, I know before you say, I told you so, I will totally admit that I am a printed pattern girl. I have binders. I love highlighters and, you know, actual physical paper and markers and post-it notes and all that. I totally do. But I will admit I've been converted to Knit Companion. And I'm going to show you why. Before I do, though, I'm going to give a big shout out to all of my patrons. Thanks so much for supporting the channel. If you're interested in seeing what I'm offering and trade for your monthly pledge, check out Pearl Together over at patreon.com forward slash Pearl Together. I'd love to have you join us there. The first thing I want to tell you is that there are a lot of features offered in the free basic edition of Knit Companion. That's available on iOS as well as Android, and it's well worth just the free download. I, I mean, seriously, the designer, Sally, has offered a lot of features for free. I am going to tell you why I think it's worth upgrading, and even if you upgrade to the full package, it's still less than $2 a month, so I think that's a really good deal. Now, full disclosure, she did offer me um, the subscription so that I could review it, and I will definitely carry on with that even after my subscription time is up. I will definitely be renewing my subscription, and I'm going to show you why. Okay, so Knit Companion only works on mobile devices, so iPad, um, Android devices, it will work on your phone. I didn't try it for a long time because I didn't have a device that was big enough and my phone screen's not very big. So um, now I have acquired a device where I can use it, so you just want to open the app, and you'll notice that it has up here at the top, it has um, little buttons that say Local, Ravelry, and Dropbox. So that's really cool. You can connect it to your Ravelry account and then it syncs with the library of your Ravelry account. So anything that has a PDF will, from your Ravelry library, you can um, import it locally to have on your device. So if you have a pattern, say from nitty.com and it's really not a PDF, it's just a website, then that's not gonna work. It needs to be a PDF to be able to download and become local. But the cool thing about that is after you have it local, then it's downloaded into your device and you can actually use it. You can use it here on your device without internet. So that's pretty cool. So let's take a look at the Pioneer Gloves. This is a free pattern by Kelly McClure. You can get this on Ravelry. And you notice right away that all your pages are going across the top here. So you can scroll through really easily. You can also scroll this way if you like. And, you know, it's all responsive, just like you would expect for pinching and making large and, and all that. Now, I realize that I am a paper pattern girl and I'm eating my words here. And I'm gladly eating my words because this is fantastic. There's a lot of features here that are truly amazing. I actually have notes because there's so much. Um, I'm just going to go over a few things that I have found that are super handy for me. Um, also, Sally has video tutorials outlining the differences on knitcompanion.com. So you're definitely going to watch that if you're considering upgrading. Definitely go. There's even a chart that shows the different levels of subscription and what features are there. But I'm just going to show you a couple of things real quick. So let's say we're just looking at this PDF in the local version, but we actually want to begin the project so that you can use all the features that you need as a knitter. So you're going to go start project and you're going to name that. So I'm just going to call it what it is because I'm not that inventive. Pioneer Mitts. No, not Mots. I don't type very well. Okay, create project. All right, so now that I've done that, you can see right away that my markers and my row count, my row highlighter comes up. So that's really cool. So let me just go to page five. And I just tapped on that to bring up that page full screen. So you'll notice here that you have a blue line. And when you, when you, you can just move that by touching it. Now, when I have a thing that's columns like this, I like to have, if I'm working on column one, I'll have the blue line over on the left. And if I'm working on the right column, then I'll have it over here. So then I remember where I'm at. But if you want to do a, uh, remember where you're at for certain. You can also long tap or hold and this red thing appears. That's like your you are here on the map. <laughs> so that's kind of cool if you're unsure what section you're on. Now these markers will stay put on each page even as you close your device or you wander away and the, the thing goes to sleep it'll stay here. So I found that super cool. So you can zoom into your chart for example. So let's move our let's move the row marker down first and then you can zoom in. Now, if you're doing Fair Isle or something, I prefer to have my row highlighter above the row I'm working on, but you can also you put it right on the row you're working on. That's totally up to you. Now, these markers are customizable. If you um, want to edit the color, you can do that 
in the essentials package, which is a little bit of an upgrade. But it's perfectly serviceable as yellow and blue. Now the blue can be a stitch marker. So I like to use the blue, like for example here, if I wanna you know, denote where that red line is, just, but you can also move that. If you have to get up and walk away, you can just move that and you know that's where you were on that row. So I know that I'm on the decrease or sorry, the increase of this particular row if I get up and have to walk away. Or I need to put my knitting down before I'm done with the row. It happens. It's not ideal, but it happens. So that uh, that's super cool. See, even as I zoom in and out, that totally stays put. All of those markers stayed put as I zoomed in and out. So that's definitely handy. So the row counters, you have six row counters here, which is really cool. You can also, so you can just tap to increase you can see that, but if you long hold, it'll come up and you can customize that however you like. So you can, whoops, you can reset that by just pushing that, you know, replay button. Now those markers are more editable in the higher level subscriptions. There's other things you can do. You can change colors. You can start at different values. There's more editable things that you can do in, in with the paid subscription, but it's perfectly serviceable as a, just a regular marker but I will also say, when you upgrade your subscription with the full package, the Setup Plus Essentials, you can also have voice control. So that's pretty sweet. I haven't even messed with that yet, but it looked really cool when I saw this, the uh, example video. Okay, the other thing I want to draw your attention to is the little arrows up and down. That's arrow up and arrow down, and that changes the view of your page. Now, if you go to the one that shows the arrow up and down on the bottom, sorry about that glare there. If you go up and down, tap on the one that shows the up and down arrow at the bottom of the page, that brings up a whole section down here that tells you you can type notes here to make sure that you're doing your right and left mitt the same or your socks are gonna match. You can type notes if you made any kind of pattern alterations. You can also put in a key. So let's say you have the key from a different page. All right, the button with the key, you can add the page where the key is located. See the keys at the bottom of page five here? You can add that by, and put it down here. And then it's handy for you at the bottom of the page, no matter which page you're working on here. I hope that makes sense. So that is a super cool feature. And then you can just simply go back up here to the top Go back up here to the top and tap that again to hide it if you want, and then you can make your page bigger, and you can bring that up and back. You can bring that back whenever you need it, and there's your key by using that quick key button. So that's, I found that to be super handy. You know, if you're doing something more complicated and you need that key handy, you're not sure what that particular symbol or abbreviation meant, you can paste that into the bottom and bring it up as you need to. Okay, a couple other cool things is right now you can see I'm working in portrait mode, but if my pattern or my chart is in landscape mode and I wanna turn this, I can actually rotate, you know, I can rotate the page here by doing this. It rotates um, clockwise 90 degrees every time you tap it, so that's super handy if you need to zoom in and out or you have charts that are in a landscape mode. You can also have a scribble mode. So as you turn this on and off, you can scribble and you can make notes See, you can make notes on your pattern, right? I realize I just made a giant mess, but you get the idea. Okay, you can also use the eraser and you can remove the mess I just made. So that's super handy. So you can turn the scribble on and off if you enjoy marking, you know, actually writing, virtually writing on your pattern. Okay, so right now I'm on the tab that says knit, but when I click edit, that's when I have a whole bunch more features over here that I can edit things. Like this one is a ruler. I can edit the those highlighter bars. I can edit the color and the width. Now, the other thing that's really cool, I'll show you this, and I haven't quite set this up yet, but I love the feature and it's on my to-do list to definitely set up. I can click the invert button and now I don't dig all that yellow, but you could make this like a light gray, for example. And then, see, I think that's awesome, where you have the row that you're working on is highlighted, and you can main, you can change the thickness of that so that it exactly matches the rows on your chart. I think that's really cool. Now that invert button is a an added feature with a paid subscription, but that's totally worth it, my, in my opinion. I think that's visually great. So that's in the edit. Now with the higher 
uh, upgrade, you can use the setup button up at the top. When I clicked setup, it tells me using the setup features upgrades this project. So it upgrades my particular project that I've already started. And the project will no longer be accessible in the Android app. So apparently the setup, which the highest level subscription is not yet available in Android, but only iOS. I didn't know that. Do you want to proceed? And since I don't have Android, I'll say yes, I want to proceed. Now setup is where I can go and it tells me if I want to make a new piece, that means I'm going to add a piece to this page. So like I'm going to cut something out, like if you were actually doing this with paper, you would cut out a piece and you would paste it in. So then you can do the next tip. You, it tells you how to do it. it, tells you how to arrange the pieces. And you can see here where it says you're going to add something, copy or delete. You can do visible rows, you can do your counters differently, you can rotate things. I mean, I'm not, it would take me a long time to explain all of this. And Sally does have very good tutorials over on the Knit Companion website. And truthfully, I haven't even delved into all this yet. I haven't needed anything complicated enough to need it at this point, but it's awesome that all those features are there. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed that preview and you get the idea, there is a lot involved here. It's worth the upgrade. Especially if you're going to more complicated patterns with multiple choice, it's absolutely worth the upgrade of only $20 or, or less than $2 a month. At least that is what it is for iOS. I don't have an Android device, so I don't know. Um, but it's certainly worth, worth the upgrade for all of the additional features, including voice control for crying out loud. So that's awesome. So check it out over at knitcompanion.com and then in the app store or however it is that you Android people download your stuff. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, thanks so much to Sally for offering a subscription so I could do the review. Thanks for wa watching. If you found this video helpful, hit the thumbs up and consider subscribing. And stay tuned. We're having a new knit along coming up.